I want to thank everyone. I want to start off by thanking everyone. Um, the team here at Bayside, Pastor, our law enforcement partners, our families, and our community for all your support, all your prayers, your condolences, and your tears. And my wife, Janine, thank you. I really struggled with what I was going to say here today that could try to bring some comfort to all of us. To help us all while we're going through these most difficult emotions. And as for me and my emotions, I'm extremely sad for all of us, and while at the same time, very angry. And I'll get to that. What kept coming back to my mind was the few minutes that I had with Brian at the hospital before the procession. I was alone in the room with him. His body was draped with our nation's flag. And at that moment, that time to me was the most solemn and important time to begin this journey that we're all on and will be on forever. I placed my hands on that flag and on his chest and I told him three things. Thank you. We got this. And your sacrifice will not be in vain. First, thank you, Brian. Thank you for your heroic and selfless service to our community and to your brothers and sisters. Thank you for giving yourself to us for the time that we had you. Thank you for being the warrior you were and for running toward the fray while the sheep run away. Thank you for serving our communities with professionalism, honor, valor, and compassion, always respecting our mission, vision, and constitutions. Thank you for cashing that rhetorical blank check that all of us in this noble and honorable profession carry with us from the time we sign up for its calling. And it is a calling. Thank you for being a fine son, brother, husband, father, and friend. One that will be remembered in our hearts and souls forever. Second, we got this. Brian, we will continue to serve your community with the same passion you did perhaps even more, because we're now serving it for you. Always striving to set your fine example and make you proud. Brian, I promise you, we got your family. Don and Kim, Brandon and the rest. We can't bring your boy back. But we can and will honor his legacy by serving as he served with the same compassion, benevolent heart, and honor. Katie, we're here for you. From this day forward, we can't replace Brian, but any need you have, any shoulder you want to shed a tear on, we'll be here. Prudence, Zoe, and cash. I know at this time it's hard for you to understand, but we got you too. Your daddy is a hero. A hero that all of us here and all those to come will remember as a hero. And as you grow up, all the heroes here today will be there for you. And finally, Brian, your death will not be in vain. Earlier I mentioned I'm angry, and I'm sure many, if not most, possibly all, here today are angry, very angry. Brian, I promise you we will all turn this anger into action. I pray this solemn occasion starts with an uproar for the iniquities facing our brothers and sisters in our communities. I pray this starts a conversation wherein our supposed leaders listen to us, Brian's voice, 
all the warriors and the experts in our field instead of gang members, felons, and all those who don't have a clue what we deal with. That they listen to us for direction on what we need to keep our community safe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to fix this for Brian and the 47 other California officers and deputies killed in the line of duty in the last five years in this state. Let's all speak up for Brian and his memory so that not another one of us falls, so that we don't have to return to this place with anger in our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to have known Brian. I'm honored to know his family, and we're honored to be experiencing the outpouring of support from our community for us, for Brian and his family. To my EDSO, family and team, I wanna thank you. And I want you to know that I'm prouder than I have ever been of all of you. Brian, we thank you for your service and we salute you. We all love you. We will all miss you. You will be honored forever and you will never, ever be forgotten. Rest in peace, brother.